Downhill chipping. So we're on a pretty severe downhill slope here. I'm going to demonstrate that by the ball drop here. So that's quite an extreme downhill slope here. So that makes things a little tricky for us. Let's imagine we've got a water sprinkler or something in our way there, something we can't move away from, and we do need to chip the ball over that. We can't putt it. We've got a back flag here. We've got a lot of room to work with, fortunately. So now, with chipping and chipping basis, let's imagine for a moment this is all flat. We'd have the five big rules of chipping. So we're going to have that shoe distance away from the ball. We're going to play the ball off our back foot. We're going to open up our stance a little bit. We're going to put our hands left, which puts the grip of the club pointing towards your left pocket or your left hip bone there. And most of your weight, and this is easy because we're going downhill, we're going to have our weight on our left foot. So that's for a chipping basis. Now if I was to go back here and then make a couple of practice swings, well I've just bottomed out back here. And I've just done it again, I've bottomed out back here. So that home base that we usually work from is not going to work out for us here on a downslope. So what we need to adjust ourselves accordingly. So what we're going to do for a downhill slope is we're now going to shuffle down the slope a little until we figure that we've got the same bottom out point that we just had in our practice swing. So that now puts, I'm still a shoe distance away from the play line but my right foot's now here, which now puts the back of the ball probably about that far behind my right foot, which might feel a bit unusual for someone who's never done that before. But I can assure you that's where the best players in the world would have it in this situation. So now we've got the ball further back in our stance. We're still going to have our hands left. And you might notice what that does to the club is it starts to close, or it doesn't close, but it starts to reduce the amount of loft. So we're going in there with our most lofted club, which is for me my lob wedge my 62 degree lob wedge. This is going to produce a low flight. It's going to take a little bit of spin and then it will release out all the way to the back of the hole. So let's give this a go and we'll try and demonstrate this. Okay, so I did my job. I hit the back of the ball properly first. I didn't bottom out before I was due. I wouldn't suggest that was an awesome outcome, but it was okay. It was certainly better than fatting it and blading it over the back of the green or, or fatting it and having it just dribble down the hill here in front of us. So in order to do your job properly off a down slope when you're chipping, we want that ball in the super headlock, right back there. Right back here in behind your foot. That will guarantee your first and foremost job, which is to hit the ball properly first. That's what you've got to do in all golf shots, bar bunker shots. So we hope that that tip will help you to be more consistent, a bit more confident, and certainly produce better results, and especially by hitting the ball properly first.